one of the most challenging school years on record for both students and staff members from remote learning and simultaneous teaching to social distancing and mask mandates. Yeah, but as CBS 12 Stephanie Valderrama reports, none of that was enough to slow down a Pahokee grad with his eyes set towards the skies. From the time he was 13 years old, Matthew Thompson knew what he wanted to be when he grew up. When I was in middle school, I was able to take like a, a discovery flight where they just take you up and fly you around up here in Maryland. Um, so I think after that, you know, I was more interested in, you know, trying to fly planes. Four short years later, he made it happen. He's got his private pilot license even before his high school diploma. But as the oldest of four kids in a single parent household, flying lessons weren't exactly in the family budget. So Matthew joined the Experimental Aircraft Association. So I joined that. And I was going there, you know, every Saturday, uh, two Saturdays a month, building the plane. And he volunteered his time for the chance to learn the ins and outs of being a pilot. And his commitment to the program was so outstanding, the EAA awarded him with a $10,000 scholarship to learn to fly. If I didn't get the scholarship, it probably would have taken me much longer to get my private. Some people do it in 50, 60 hours but I was able to do it in 40. With the support of his family, trainers, and teachers at Pahokee Middle Senior High School, he got his license in record time. Had to go around a lot of storms, and so it made the flight longer um, in both mileage and time. His longest and most challenging flight to date started in West Palm Beach, then to Fort Myers, Vero Beach, and back. What would be your dream job? My dream job is probably, you know, being a captain for one of the major U.S. airlines, you know, until I retire. That's probably my dream job. So Matthew plans on going to Liberty University up in Virginia this fall. And thanks to all of the awesome credits that he got down at Pahokee, he's going to be able to start as a sophomore. Reporting live from where hopefully Captain Thompson will work in the future, Stephanie Valderrama, CBS 12 News.